Hey, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, this is my last episode of Beaver Trapping. It was like Tokyo Drift or something, fast and furious, but it's over. Uh, if you're new here and you like what you see at the end of the video, if you take a second to uh, like it, share it, comment it, subscribe it, whatever it, I'll appreciate it. If you're back again, thanks a lot. Uh, it's a beautiful day out. I'm going to go for a walk pretty soon, but uh, just coming up in this episode, we'll do one last quick check day. And then I'll be, I pulled all my traps, that's all done, all my fur is pretty much finished and on board. I'm going to uh, come back here then and we'll take a look at some of the uh, finished product and stuff. Alright, let's go out and uh, do one final check day. Alright, here we are, my beaver season is going to be over. I got my fifth beaver. It is actually a bigger beaver than the other, the little ones. Uh, it's not a giant one, I know that. It looks like maybe another about 25 to 30 pounder. Get this guy yanked out of here, and I'll be pulling these traps today. Because I'm at my limit of five. Awesome. Five beavers, and I'm done. Three check days. I'm out here with our my brother's neighbor, Ken. He's out here just watching and chit-chatting and having a good time. It's a beautiful day out today. Uh, I missed a beaver right down here, but I'll be pulling these traps and calling it a wrap, and I'll have a video coming out and showing up my final product coming soon. All right, so I hope you uh, enjoyed the quick uh, beaver trapping check. So I'm just going to show you a couple of the uh, furs that I put up. These are the smaller beavers right here. I mean, this one, I mean, the, the leather is nice and white here, pretty clear. I don't know if this is, like, considered a bite mark or whatever. I'm not sure. Like I said, this is, a lot of this stuff is new to me. The fur on this one, I guess it's half decent for a little fella. Uh, I do know that one of these, I, what, the two, two of the small ones, I stretched too tight. They shrunk more than I had anticipated. So, there's one thing I learned. Uh, stretch it loose, and then... Stretch it a little bit looser. I got a couple cool tips from guys uh, about nailing them. I probably should have nailed them closer and closed up the legs more. A couple of them I closed the back legs up with nails, pinched them shut, but I maybe left these too long and I could have sewed these shut. The legs, which wouldn't take too long. If I do some more, I'll probably just throw a couple stitches in the feet holes. Uh, like I said, one of these, the smaller ones here, I, I ripped along the edge while skinning it. I sewed it up. I'm hoping that that's, uh, good enough. Okay, so a couple of the other bigger beavers I have, they're still on boards. Uh, this one has, like, some funky spots on the leather. I'm not sure, I mean, I, I fleshed them pretty clean, really. Uh, I got a couple tips from people, one, I mean, different ones and stuff, but, uh, somebody said about using staples here. But I like the one tip, and a guy actually sent me pictures where once they're nailed on the board, they slide the beaver up on the board, and it lets a space between the beaver and the board for drying out purposes. And it also can let, I think as Judith Davis said about these nails can flex as the beaver shrinks and stuff. So that's my one bigger beaver there, and this is my other one. Leather looks a little more consistent on this one. There's my daughter. She's ready to go for a walk. <laughs> it's a beautiful day outside, so I don't want to be in this shed too long, but... Uh, yeah, I need to, uh, start closing up these legs a little better. A couple, a couple tips on that, closing the legs up. I did nail some of them shut, but I think I'm just going to, in the future, I'll just, I'll put a couple stitches in them here. And I probably actually could have put my nails a little closer. If you think there's a lot of nails in here, I'm, looks like there's a thousand nails, but I need to put my nails a little closer actually. So, uh, it was fun. Like I said, it was fast and furious and now it's over, so... Spring and summer's coming. Time for some beekeeping. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in and watching my channel. Hope you all have a blessed day.